more hello from Belgium. This is Dr. Bartels with interesting news. In the last years, the world learned that there is a disease called H63D syndrome. Well, today you can Google it and you find all information that you need about it. It affects people who have a homozygous mutation of the HFE gene H63D. So their iron metabolism is severely disturbed. And the disease even has a nickname, which describes it very well. It is Wilson's disease, iron brother. Because it's not really hemochromatosis what is caused, but a disease very similar to Wilson's disease, but not caused by copper, but by iron, and not by ferritin, but by NTPI, non-transferring bound iron. But now, after many years of further research, the H63D mutation research group came out with H63D syndrome type 2. Because so many people out there believe that they have so many different diseases that don't really fit together and they are running from doctor to doctor and nobody can help them. And there is an underlying cause. And that is a homozygous mutation, yes, again, of HFE gene H63D, which causes hemochromatosis and about 2 to 5% of homozygous carriers. Classic H63D syndrome, which is now H63D syndrome type 1, in about 10% of the homozygous carriers, but another 20 to 30% of the carriers of a homozygous mutation of HFE gene H63D are suffering from type 2 syndrome, H63D syndrome type 2. It's less about NTBI iron, which is the culprit in type 1, and it's more about microinformations all over the body. And these microinformations are triggered by different pathways which cannot work correctly when HFE gene H63D is mutated homozygously, that means totally mutated. That means the International H63D Research Group is now the first group of scientists, of over 90 scientists, who worked for 12 years and longer on that subject to make this news public. There is a disease out there. It exists. People are suffering from it. Maybe it's you. And now it has a name. It is H63D syndrome type 2. In the description to this video, you will find a link. A link that gives you free access to a preliminary report about H63D syndrome type 2. And myself, as well as all my colleagues, all these wonderful people who do that non-profit for so many years, hope that this will help you to get better. Because once you understand that you might suffer from H63D syndrome type 2 and you get your genetic testing and if this genetic testing should show a homozygous mutation of the HFE gene H63D, then there is hope for treatment. 
then there is hope that all these weird and troubling symptoms that you are affected by, that make you suffer, that they can be not necessarily cured, but be treated. Treated as one disease and not like a zoo of symptoms that nobody knows where they come from. So the paper is small, it's preliminary, but also this has a good reason. And the reason is everybody should be able to understand it. Doctors, nurses, lay people, everybody. Because this is by far not a rare disease. Type 1, yes. H63D syndrome type 1 is a rare disease. But we believe we in the HFE gene H63D research group, we believe that type 2 syndrome is by far not a rare disease. You, you just have to look at the numbers of how many people carry a homozygous mutation of gene H63D. And science as well as clinicians have always said, well, only a couple of percent of these people will experience some sort of symptoms. So it's not a very important mutation. Well, everybody who has a hemochromatosis because of it knows that this is very bad. Every life has a birth and should be valued. Those people who are suffering from type 1 syndrome, they have a very bitter fate. But the number of people who suffer from type 2 H63D syndrome. This is a number that made us as clinicians, researchers, scientists, biologists, everybody involved, made us speechless. How many cases are out there undetected, believing that they have not connected different diseases, while in reality they have only one illness, and that is H63D syndrome type 2. Take good care of yourself. We are here to help you. Write us if you have questions. The H63D syndrome research group does not take money, does not expect anything from you. We are here to help you. So get in touch with us and you will get information that you can provide your treating physicians, your medical doctors. So there is hope. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. And if you're already ill, get well soon.